Rise from your grave. Hello Quakers and welcome once again to another episode of the Quake Grave. Today, we're going to be taking a trip to the outpost. This is a map by Neil Mank. Now, Neil's made a lot of maps, but you might remember him mostly for his starship maps, which are, are great maps. But believe it or not, Outpost actually came out before those, so we're going to be taking a look at an early map here. Uh, this came out on February 16th of 1997, so let's jump in and check out the Outpost. So here we are in Outpost. You see a knight immediately as we start here. Uh, looks like we're going to have 47 kills, and somebody has already seen me. I heard him trigger. But this is pretty nuts. We're starting off with a couple Hell Knights already. Whoa! And uh, an Ogre, from what I can tell. Whoa, hey now. And I'm almost out of shell, so i going to get up here and grab some of this. There's an ogre hanging out up there. All right, I'm thinking I need to just get away here. Oh, fish! Of course. Why wouldn't there be fish in the moat, right? All right, we got a gold key down there. I'm gonna grab myself that health, because why not? Hey, get away from me. I don't need none of that. Okay, we hit some switch. Not sure what it does. One more to go, there it is. Sequence complete. Jump out. And that opened the door, I'm assuming, right? A secret. No, it's a secret door. It says swim for it. Okay, where is it? Aha! More fish. Almost out of shells again here. We got a grunt, though. Okay, we're looking good here. Alright, I am missing all of these notes here. They're popping up way too quick. So we got... You are in a sacred place. Behind the familiar face of your enemy is your salvation. Hmm. Some sort of lava rune thing here. It looks like there's a weapon. Yeah, there's a double barrel shotgun back there that I would really like to get to. Not sure what this room is all about, but let's check it out. From the Missed it again. From the bloody side, these bars open. Okay, so the bars are going to open from that side. We got a button that we keep hitting there. So, was this secret area really just about grabbing some shells right there? Is that really all that was about? Or is there a way to get in here? I don't want to waste shells, so I don't want to shoot at anything if I'm not sure. And there's no way to climb those. Okay, I guess we're just heading back out. Back out we go! Whoa! Ogre almost got me. Okay, the front did open, so let's head in. Because I don't feel like we're doing crap out here. Whoa. Okay, you can just walk right through that. Interesting. Well, I'm going to grab the Mega Health and that. Let's take out this ogre. Oh, got me a little bit. But that's okay, we got the Mega Health. We don't have too much to worry about here. Whoa! A little cramped in here, I gotta say. A little cramped. Don't like that, don't like that. Where are you? Okay, let's take you out quick. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of cramped areas like this. But we got a hole to drop down here, so I guess that's what we're gonna do. Where are we here? Okay, let's get our bearings, right? It is so dark, I have no idea where I am. And we're back out front. <laughs> Interesting. And that ogre really wants a piece. All these guys want a piece. Oh, and there's some knights out now, too. Where did you guys come from? That apparently was a secret area. Okay, back back in through the front here. I don't know what's happening. This is a very strange level. Silver key for that. This is gold key. It's locked. Okay, we already went through here. 
So I know for sure that there's nothing else in here. There's some hell, so I gotta keep that in mind. There's a little hole there. Okay, that drops. Oh, and that is immediate death, I guess. <laughs> says it opens from the bloody side, but yeah, you can see right there that there is a little bit of a trap there. So, hmm. Okay, let's go back around here. Okay, well, you'll see here that I'm sort of back at the start here. Uh, reason being is that uh, when I came back over here, I noticed, oh, look. There's a regular nail gun that I completely forgot to get. Considered a secret, by the way. Three out of the five secrets I got. Um... I uh, was having a bit of a hard time getting through the room that has the uh, the two ogres and the scrag that, uh, that you just saw. Um, for some reason, when I was going in there trying to replay that area, get back to where I was, uh, it was really weird. The, the level would just kick me out. It would basically error out. So I'm not really sure which way I'm supposed to go here. Um... Shadowland is the other way. Got a door there. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be doing. I'm going to go back into that room. Now that I have a, a regular nail gun, I can take these guys out a little quicker. I think the ogre... Yep, the ogre is still around. This platform here just drops you in, so it's not even solid, which is really weird. Runs just running around in the water, I guess. Um, but I, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to quick save. Because I'd really rather not play through that part again if I don't have to. There's another fish somewhere. You're over here, aren't you? He's like trapped over here somewhere. Nope. More nails, though. I'll take that. There he is. Okay. So what would happen is... I would actually run down this platform here when I was trying to get shells and it would just dump out. Now it's not doing that now, but it was while I was, uh, I'd basically kill the Scrag and the Ogre and I'd be shooting them with a shotgun and it, it, would, it would say something about pushing something and I'm not sure exactly what the issue is, but whatever, <laughs> whatever I was pushing into or onto or whatever the problem was, it was just making everything completely error out and the game would dump me out to my desktop. So that's pretty annoying. Um, but honestly, I'm, I'm really not sure where to go from here. So let's let's keep on moving. You know, if we drop down here, I've already done this once, there's health there, then if you go up from here, you're back at the start. Kill all the widows. Didn't catch that. Kill all the widows, ask the crucified. So we just need to figure out what the hell that is even supposed to mean. And I'd like to kill you first, because I'm getting real tired of you throwing grenades at me. Is he dead? Still not dead. There he goes. I us say, still not dead. Hell Knights I can deal with you at any point. But I know I need silver key for that. This just says it's locked. When I try to go over here, this opens. But if I drop down there, I'm I'm just dead. That's all there is to that. So what are these widows it's talking about? Widows or, or crucified or whatever? I'm not really sure. See how many shells we got. We got 35 shells. Let's try to take a couple of these guys out. He's down. He's down. There was a guy up in that middle area. I don't know if it's because all that's connected and that was the same guy just running in and out, but... Here we go. Another quick save for me, because I really don't want to... The way this level's laid out, I'm, I'm not, not really feeling it. Um, definitely don't want to have to play, play through those parts again, because it just uh, it's not doing, doing much for me at the moment, trying to figure out which way to go, and with it dumping me out and everything. Not that that's the author's 
fault because I mean, you know, hey, sometimes there's just issues with a map. Sometimes it compiles weird. I don't know whatever the issue is, but sometimes shit happens. But with the way this is laid out and the way I can't really figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go, that that is more what I'm referencing here. It's what I don't really like. And you can tell, too, that there's going to be a trap in there. You can see the spikes right there. So I'm trying to see if I can actually jump over the bars, but it doesn't look like I can get in there even if I wanted to. So the main question is, how the hell do I get behind those bars without dropping into that death trap and it killing me? That is the main question here. And, again, I don't think that there's anything in here that I'm missing, is there? There's like a pathway or a, a button or something. Something about widows and the crucified. Really don't know what that means. So that opens. And if I drop down here, I'm dead, right? Oh, I'm not. Okay, what killed me before then? That's really weird. What would it what would have killed me in the past? There we go, got the silver key. Okay, now we're making progress. That's really strange. The first time I dropped through there, it, it killed me. This time it didn't kill me? Hmm. About to call shenanigans on this. Oh, look at that. He put up the fake. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Who do you who do they think that would fool? Oh, great. And then he really did fool us. I would like to kill you now. He did fool me. Nice little trick there, Neil. A little spider block there. Okay, so this this must be the widow that he's talking about. Mom, I miss you. <laughs> what in the hell? Kill all in this room. I did, didn't I? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I gotta go back out. Where else was there a spider? I remember seeing another one, but where was it? This map is really weird. It's like, it's a quake map, but it's got puzzles to it. And I swear another, I saw another spider somewhere. And that's what it's referring to with the widow, black widow, blah, blah, blah. But where are they going to be? I heard a fiend or something behind that door. That door is going to open later and reveal a fiend. I, I, I guarantee it. Don't want to die again. There's one of the spiders. Whoa! Hope you're a bloody good swimmer. I guess we'll find out, won't we? back in here. Is this going to open now? No, it's still locked. Go through here. It says there's two more spiders, though. We only got two of them, right? Ah, look at that. Sequence completed. That's what we needed to do. Interesting. The trees look funny over there. I don't want to go in there. Who saw me? Just a few dogs, nothing. Nothing to get worried about. Yep, I knew I heard fiends and stuff. Man, I'm running out of ammo here, though. I just picked up nails. 
Okay, we can go over here and grab some. That's good. Shells, nails, whatever we want, right? I knew I heard you behind that door. I knew it. Oh, man. This is, uh... I'll let you guys do what you gotta do down there. I'm gonna go... <laughs> see what I gotta do here. More spiders. One more to go. How are they doing down there? They get that ogre? They did. There are uh, four of them down there. What in the hell is that all about? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna save again. Oh, I see. They just have full rain in here. Okay. I'm not. Ooh. Man, he's got some ups. I am not completely sure how I want to deal with this area here. Oh, here we go. Another secret. I like that. Whoa! Another trap right there. This map is just like a troll map. There are... Whoa! Where'd you come from? There are, there are puzzles to be had. There are a lot of enemies to kill. Here's the other spider, by the way. Sequence complete. And what does that mean? The gold key is now free. But where's the exit? But, uh... You know, there, there's tons tons to do in this map for how small it is. It's okay. We're doing alright. We gotta take the hedge maze to get some ammo and stuff like that. This will be alright. I think. But with all the, the weird button things that we got to do and all of the weird enemy sets and everything like that, this is a very strange map. There is a way out of here, and it's right into all the fiends. Ah! Well, he's dead now. Come on, dude. Come at me. Whew. Okay, that's two down, right? Two of the four, I think? I'm just gonna keep saving here. Oh, you know what's funny is I jumped right there, and I saw that blue right out the door right there, and part of me was like, oh my god, he put putties in this, didn't he? He put friggin' putties. Woe to you who enters there. What enters here? We just saved. Let's check it out. Or he's talking about Shadowland, I think. I think he's talking about this dark hallway here. The widows are on the upper level. Okay, well, that's a good note to have now. But I gotta go back out front and get the gold key. That's what I gotta do. There's the key. Got it. That is not where we want to go. Whoop! I heard you. Trying to get the drop on me, are you? So he's down. Okay, we're doing alright here. 36 out of 47. Still might have a little little bit to go, it would seem here, but... Ah! Who's in there? <laughs> Somebody's in there! I knew you were. Well, I got a hell of a lot of shells here, so let's try and just take these guys out calmly. And we'll be okay. This has got to be the exit, right? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> wow, that is, uh, that is an interesting map, to say the least. Um, up to par with Starship? I don't think so, but for this being a very early map that Neil did, it's pretty good. Um... Pretty good in that it's competent. You can finish it. There's en enemies, you know, all over the place for you to take out. There's weird little puzzles and stuff. Sure, it's competent. Is it a good map? I'm not so sure. It's it's okay. Um, I feel like it's a little confusing to the player. Uh, definitely extra points for doing new things, like having puzzles to figure out and whatnot. That's cool. But 
in the way of how it was done, I don't know. It, it, to me, it just seems a little too confusing for the player to fully grasp. But this could be one of those maps where you play it once, you get used to what you're supposed to do in it, and then you kind of see what Neil was going for after a couple plays, you know? It might be one of those maps. After a couple plays, you kind of fall in love with it, you know? Overall, though, uh, definitely a thumbs up for effort on this, though. You could tell it was one of those things where he had a lot of big ideas and he was trying to make them work in one map, so everybody who does that definitely gets some kudos. But there you go, everybody. That was Outpost. I'll see you next time.